lights. I take a breath. Camera. The curtain unfurls. Action. I whisper a word of encouragement to my partner. Break a leg. He smiles back and replies, punctuating his sentence with a wink or two. The music begins and hushed voices rush through the crowd. The show's about to begin. I step out gracefully, although admittedly nervous about my ability to play my part. I can't afford any mistakes. My partner effortlessly follows suit, matching my moves with his own. Together, as one, we dance, flowing through the motions in harmonious sync. Perfect. I catch a glimpse of his face, which was radiating with ecstasy. All will be well. I look for too long. A moment of hesitation. An unexpected twirl from my partner. A slip on my ankle. Falling backwards. Eternity passes in a second. A hard land on my head. Pain. Searing pain. My partner stops dancing. The music stops playing. The crowd deftly silent. My partner looks at me and then back at the crowd. He shuffles on his feet anxiously before seemingly making up his mind and running towards me. I shake my head as he advances. No, I say weakly, run. He continues forward, determination etched on his face. The purity of silence is broken by members of the crowd who begin yelling their dissatisfaction at the way the show panned out. Several of them get out of their seats, hurling insults. I groan as my partner picks me up and slings me over his shoulder, feeling the pain wash over every part of my body. Through heaving breaths, I tell my partner to leave while he still has the chance. He shakes his head together as one. The crowd was getting restless, leaving their seats and spilling out onto the stage. My partner redoubled his speed as the crowd moved forward. And for a hopeful moment, the exit seemed to be reachable. It was a brief moment. A member of the crowd grabbed my partner's leg, tripping him over and causing me to tumble forwards. The blinding pain increased. I helplessly looked in horror as the crowd descended upon my partner tearing his flesh from bone and snapping his legs in two. They couldn't have perfection, so they would have him. I winced as my partner screamed while a sea of hands worked to pull him apart, tearing eyes out of their sockets and teeth out of their gums. He yelled out, 
his voice piercing through the noise of death. Run! I didn't want to leave my partner, but I knew he was beyond saving now. I pushed myself against the floor, trying to muster the will to stand, but couldn't. The pain was too great. The crowd had reduced my partner to a skeleton, and yet some still kept at it, biting and tearing and cracking. The others, however, were moving in my direction, eager for more. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. I closed my eyes and waited for it all to end. <laughs> 